Hey my cuties and beauties, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody's well. So today's nail set is all about cheetah print poly gel. And Nail Chronicles inspired me to do this looking at one of her videos. They came out so bomb and like I said, I know my thought process is gonna be different, but these are the products that I used. I used the uh, LA Colors Gel in Chateau. I use the LA Color Craze in Intimate and LA Color Last um, in black. So y'all know I don't have gel polish. I thought about using this glitter, but I ended up not doing that in the end. But with not having gel polish and not having colored poly gels, I tend to mix these nail polishes into clear poly gel to get the colors that I'm looking for. And my idea behind it was to really get away from applying polish to the nail so that way I can get the effect that I'm looking for with less messiness, I guess you could say. Because applying these as polishes, I find that they tend to peel and bubble up quite a bit under like gel top coats and stuff. So I wanted to mix them in to the clear poly gel and use them as a poly gel. And I noticed a vast difference between all three of these when I mixed it. Um, so you here you can just see me just adding color where I needed to, getting it as dark as I, I wanted it. Um, what I noticed about that Chateau and the Intimate um, nail polish it had like shimmers in it so it came out really really cute and you could like see that up close and personal um but i know the camera kind of like you know takes that effect away but anyway how are y'all doing i hope everybody's good because life is good the sun is out you know everyone's staying safe here in my household so i'm hoping the same for you guys and I'm hoping that everyone's having fun and YouTube's keeping you occupied during this quarantine time. But I already applied my McCart tips to my practice hand and I'm just gonna buff over it and just file off that little nubby piece that is at the tip of the, um, the nail so that way I can get ready to put in my base coat and start laying these poly gels for y'all. So I'm getting tired of this practice hand y'all. Like. She is working my nerves. I'm so tired of these nails popping out. I mean, I'm still working off of those um, nail inserts that I had clipped off and done a video and showed you guys, you know, how you can make them reusable. But this practice hand is trying me. And I had to break down today and go ahead and purchase that red iguana because I was just like not having it, not feeling it anymore with this practice hand. I mean, it was fun while it lasted. I'm glad to have purchased it so that way I can have something to practice on and do multiple nails as opposed to just doing one like I was doing before. But um, yeah, Red Iguana will be in the mail pretty soon. So this poly gel mixed with that um chateau nail color was just absolutely beautiful like i did one off camera to make sure that i would like it it was really smooth it reminded, reminded me of the gelin poly gels that i use um it was really really like soft and easy to work with and that shimmer that comes out of this color was just so beautiful i really liked um this color mix the other color mix that intimate color it gave off like nail bed vibes to me which is what i wanted um but the thing about it it was it reminded me of what forma gel looks like um and by the way i purchased some mia secrets um forma gel so that way i can start you know practicing with that consistency so it was it was a bit runny and it, it was like it stuck a little bit too much to the brush, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't just really crazy. But I noticed as it was sitting there, you know, I was waiting as it was waiting for me to get to it, to get to the nail that I wanted to apply it to. It started um, setting and hardening up. So I had to pick out like little hard clumps out of it. Um, but that's all good. It, I mean, it worked out in the end. Um, so 
Again, the thing with poly gel, you can apply where you need to, but I'm making sure every time I'm doing a layer of these because it changes the consistency of the poly gel, I'm curing each one for at least 30 seconds so that way I can move on to the next nail. Now y'all saw for these mixes, I went ahead and I used that gelish poly gel. So like I said before, in my last video, I was going to set it in the warm water so that way it could be ready by the time I got ready to start, you know, mixing these colors. And it worked out just fine again. But the thing that I am not feeling about this poly gel, you know, I tried, I tried, I tried to like this poly gel. But that white residue that comes out of the brush or comes out of this poly gel is just absolutely annoying like it makes your brush start to like spread apart at the tips it leaves these white particles in the slip solution and i'm just over it so i'm not gonna complain about the gelish anymore i'm gonna use it up as much as i can until the tube is done but i'm most definitely not gonna buy another one so on this nail here y'all I lost my train of thought and I messed this nail up. I'm just gonna be honest up front. What I was supposed to do was add that black to the same side as the very, the really light nude color, that um, intimate color, to make one straight line on one side with that nail bed French and then one with the chateau, that more nude, darker brown on the other side. And I didn't realize that I messed up until I had cured it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I did end up making it work. So don't worry, just stick around and you guys will see exactly how I was able to fix that at the end. So I just wanted you guys to see here that, you know, I'm going in with that 90 degree angle to crispen up the smile line before I start working on my poly gel ombre, y'all. I was kind of playing in my head which color I wanted to go with first, but I felt like I would have had more of a deep effect with putting this black closer up to that wall that I created with the intimate color. And look how pretty that intimate color looks as a nail bed color. Like it's really, really cute. It looks like a legit nail bed. So I went in with the black and got around the wall that I created for that first layer. And I did have a little too much, but again, the thing about poly gel, you can take away what you don't need, honey, and keep it moving. So I Frenched, well not French, I faded down the black to get that ombre look. And I went in and did the same thing with this color and faded it up to get a pretty little ombre between the two. And I know it looks kind of rough. <laughs> I know it looks kind of rough, but it's gonna work out in the end, trust me. Y'all saw the pictures in the beginning. It worked out in the end. Um, again, all of this work, despite me messing up this little pinky finger, you know, I'm gonna go in and cap with clear as usual to make sure that I can build the structure where I need the structure because everything I did was a thin layer initially. So now here, this clear is gonna build that structure and that strength on the nails for me and fill in the gaps in that French nail with the black and the brown ombre to create a nice smooth layer so when I go into shaping and filing everything is gonna just be nice and even. So y'all what I wanted to do with that glitter like I know this is the animal print I wanted to go in with that clear um, gel top coat and do a raised look with the gel with the glitter so I was going to make the animal print with the top coat and then sprinkle the glitter on top of it dust away the excess for it to reveal that um animal print design but I feel like the cheetah print was a little bit too small to be able to do that and it would have probably looked a mess so I just foregoed that idea and decided to just paint them on with the black polish now after shaping and filing and getting everything all nice and even i used the sensational no wipe top coat that i got in my sensational chrome um polish that i picked up from walmart and i really like this top coat because as you can see it's super super shiny um y'all see that nail where <laughs> i messed up 
don't worry I, i'm telling y'all don't worry that nail is about to be on some real fire in a minute but um going in with that top coat first and i'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and i've already set aside some of that black polished la colors um color last polish in my little mixing plate i got a new mixing plate guys i went to the dollar store to dollar tree and i picked up a little organizer box to put all my things in because i was just like having it just sitting in my my nail bag and you know sitting in boxes that other things came in and i was like this is just not working for me and i got this really cute little tote that fit like exactly into my bag and it's deep enough to put my my things in it so i was like yeah i'm gonna get that and then i just turned around the corner and saw this little soap dish and i was like that'll be perfect for a mixing plate so for now until i can purchase the pretty little purple one that i want from amazon i'm going to use this soap dish and it's going to make it do what it do okay so going in on all of these nails again with that top coat and it's just so shiny and pretty like the ombre nail I can see it start coming through already. I was loving the shimmer that I was getting from just the straight clear top coat on these nails. Like I said, there was like these little specks of just glossy glitters in there, but they weren't so overpowering that you could actually see it on camera. Like you have to be like in person to see it. And it was just absolutely beautiful at this point. I don't know, like you can probably see little specks as I'm moving the nail. But after getting all of those, you know, topped with that clear top coat, I'm going in with the black and I'm just creating little C's in different directions and little dots, like just a little half of a C, quarter of a C, just, just as far as I felt like going, I would make a C shape and then I'll put dots in certain areas and just stick around and you guys will see like, that nail it blended so much the two colors blended so much that you could barely even notice that i messed up on that nail and that there are two different colors on this nail but ultimately it came out really pretty because i hid that um more nail bed looking color with the design that i created and all inspirations for Taking my time and doing this design goes to another one of my subscribers, Do Your Nails, because like I said, my hands are really shaky and I'm nervous about creating artwork and things like that, but I felt like I did a really good job on this. So thank you for your inspiration on helping me, you know, get over my fears and start doing designs on nails like this. So the thing that I noticed about creating these cheetah print designs is you want to have variation in the size of the dots and the sizes of the C's that you're making. And this is where I'm going back to in the beginning where I said like I didn't want to paint these nails with the polish. I wanted it to be a behind effect so that way I didn't have to make little dots with one color and then go around it and make the C's with the black like I felt like I was able to create the look that I wanted with that color hidden in the back and just make the C's and the dots where I wanted to and I felt like it came out really good doing it that way and like the color scheme was just perfect for what I was trying to do when I created the, the cheetah pattern on these nails. Now look at how this thing is gonna look on this ombre nail. Like, the ombre, I was like, man, what am I doing? I'm messing this nail up. And at first I didn't like it until I started putting this design. Like initially I wanted to put this design directly onto that coat of poly gel and then cap it. But I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess something in me just, made me just forego doing that whole idea to begin with and I felt like it came out really great in the end and I'm glad that I didn't do it the way I wanted to initially because it came out so beautiful and it was it was almost like 
the ombre was was hidden it was in the background again and it fades up into this black as i'm trying to get some of the dots and the c's a little closer to the black in this um french nail and i felt like it really worked out and you know blended together really well So after all of these nails were dried, I went in with more of that top coat to protect the design um, that I put on these nails. And that was actually a pretty good idea. And look how beautiful and glossy this nail looks. Look how beautiful and just pretty these colors are. Like I'm really feeling that chateau color. Like that's a color that I would wear on my hands and my feet i think it's absolutely gorgeous and that ombre french nail with that blended in cheetah print was just so pretty i was just drooling over these nails i had a lot of fun making this um my ideas wavered and switched up a lot but i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more to come um, everyone be blessed. Have a great day. And as always, I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one. Bye.